<laughs> G'day. Welcome back. Uh, <laughs> good to see you back. Um, you might see that I'm uh, using a, uh, <laughs> a, a microphone today. That's because every time I go to film a video, it's either windy or there's some kind of fucking lawn. Gee, sure looks like a good day to film a video. Gee, look like that boy Nick all about film one of them videos. But yeah, anyway, what we're going to be doing today is uh, I'm going to be changing the uh, diesel filter in my truck. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to pop the bonnet because uh, the diesel filter is in there. So let's get into it. This is me opening the bonnet. This is where the, uh, the diesel filter is located. So, um, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's no. Th this speaker over here really, you know, helps me get the word across. And uh, yeah, you know, 80 bucks. Uh, it, you know, uh, it's got FM radio, uh, Bluetooth. It's got everything you need. <laughs> We'll, we'll probably switch this off now. Well, um, yeah, well, I'll turn the Bluetooth off at least, and um, yeah, we may, we may have to stop mowing now. So uh, yeah, we should we should be right. I uh, I try and change the diesel filter, you know, once every six months, and um, so yeah, it's been about oh, six months. So uh, let's let's change it. Uh, all right, so it's day two. Uh, yesterday, you know, uh, sun went down, you know, running out of light, you know, and. Um, so anyway, we're going to be removing the uh, diesel filter here. I'm um, going to need a couple things. Now, because I've got a, uh, I can't really reach. I'm, you know, a bit short and that. So I'm going to need a couple things. So first, thing I'm going to need. We're going to need a step for the wheel. So we'll move this out of the way. Bring this over here. Make things a bit easier. Stand up on here. And I can reach everything now. So. Gonna need a couple of hand tools as well. So, good here, pair of pliers, a uh, couple of spanners, and a good screwdriver. All right, so uh, let's let's start ripping it out. All right, so uh, yeah, you can you can take the diesel filter out in the truck, but uh, what I like to do is uh, remove the whole thing and put it in the bench vise, and just makes makes it a lot easier because sometimes that thing's fucking tight. And um, so yeah, so first thing I'm gonna do is take these. Uh, the fuel hose is off. Just a normal hose clamp on the back here. Just want to undo that. The screwdriver. Oh, shit. Undo that one there. I don't know, he's loose. Let's see if I can rip that hose off. Yep, that's one. So that's your feed hose. Um, and this is your... Uh, hose that goes to the injector pump this one here um, as you can see there's no clamp on that i'm not sure why but um but but it is what it is you know like the thing was still running mint you know had never had a drama but yeah so we'll get this one off oh fuck come off all right that's your injector feed line uh to, from the filter to the injector pump um and now we just got to undo these two bolts here and um, we'll just take the whole show out and um, yeah, we'll go pull it apart in the vise. So you need a uh, 12 mil spinner to this end. Um, just, yeah, you just want to undo that, like that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so, sometimes the, uh, the, the bolts are a bit tight, but <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't mind them when they're a bit tight, you know what I mean? <laughs> But yeah, anyway, we'll undo this and uh, we'll just get this out of here. 
There's two bolts here. And just like that, she's out. Oh, and you got this little plug thing here. I forgot about that. Um, so just uh, sit that there for a sec. I don't know what this, I think it's like a water sensor or some shit. But yeah, unplug that. I don't even know if this thing works, but yeah, right out. And that's your diesel filter assembly there. You've got your pump ahead, all the shit. So um, yeah, we'll take it over the vise and we'll uh, pull the filter off and see what sort of junk we got in there. All right, we're up here now in the shed. Got the uh, diesel filter assembly here. So I'll put them in the vise. Like so. Pair of filters right here. Put on this bottom bit here. Let's see if I can get it with my hand first. Oh. Just them onto there. All right. Shit. For fuck's sake. There we go. Had, had them around the wrong way. You know? Right, so we've uh, cracked that. And we'll just open, pull this bottom bit out. It's got an O ring. It's got an O ring and everything in there. And um, yeah, you're going to get a bit of muck. A bit of muck out in the ground, but. Um, now you want to take the actual filter itself, so tighten them up. You should be able to just... Oh, fuck no, it's tight. That's tightening. That way's tightening. That way's... Lefty loose. Really tight. I'll, I'll just reposition this in the vise. I've uh, repositioned it so uh, when I undo it, it should um, push against itself, and um, it should be right to undo that now. Should, just should just come undone. For fuck's sake! Mm. Fuck, that thing's tight. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I make sure I change that every six months, otherwise, you know, <laughs> they get a bit tight like that, you know. But I, right, six months, no longer. Fuck. But, um, yeah, there's a you know, bit, of, bit of muck in there, as you see. Something. Make sure you get that out. Um, yeah, well, we, we got the uh, filter off now. And as you can see, this is when I last, this is when I installed this one, 7th of two, 2018. Um, I might have forgotten this one, but six months. It's only, it's only been six months, so. Yeah. All right, so uh, as you can see here, we got the old uh, filter out from uh, six months ago. Um, yeah, as you can see inside, it's all, pretty dirty in there um, all the shit in the bottom there and um, you've seen some of the shit that come out of it when I tap it on my hand and that but um, yeah I reckon we'll, we'll split it open and we'll have a look as you've seen got the axe out so um, yeah let's split her in half and have a uh, quick look at what's inside We'll try again, eh? That one. We'll, we'll, we'll hit her again, see what happens. Just look at the shit inside of that, you know? Now that. If I didn't change that, that could be inside your engine right now, you know? You know, that's why maintenance is number one. So I always maintain everything, you know, so.
anyway <laughs> but now you can see why i change them diesel filters every six months you know like if i want to change that who knows what could have gone with my engine but but yeah nah like in all honesty you probably should change it every six months it's uh, i've been a bit slack in that but um yeah i thought i'd be able to open that up pretty easy but <laughs> they're a bit tougher than i thought you know <laughs> a, bit, a bit like myself <laughs> But, um, but yeah, anyway, I put the old new diesel filter in, installed it all back in, pretty much do the complete opposite of what you did to take it out in the first place. And um, yeah, just fucking pump him right up, give it about 100 pumps or so, fill, it'll fill the canister up, and then um, I normally leave this the main hose to the injector pump off, and um, fill it up with the diesel leather thing, pop him on, hose lamp on, start the truck and just pump away, and just, she's all sweet, but... Um, that's why you should always maintain your diesel filters because if you don't, you can end up like this. Right, see you on the next one.